Hey, did you know there's a place in Canada where gravity is sort of... broken? No, I'm serious. It's not like things float away into the sky, but the gravitational pull is actually weaker than in other parts of the world. Weird, right? Imagine walking on a grassy field and feeling just a tiny bit lighter. It's not something you'd notice without scientific instruments, but it's there. Okay, so first, what is gravity? Gravity is this invisible force that pulls everything towards everything else. It's what keeps us grounded on Earth. You can see gravity in action when an apple falls from a tree or when leaves gently drift to the ground. The more massive an object, the stronger its pull. That's why massive mountains have a stronger gravitational pull than smaller hills. And that's why we stick to the Earth instead of floating off into space. The Earth's mass creates a gravitational pull that keeps us grounded. Now you'd think gravity would be pretty much the same everywhere on Earth, right? Wrong. It turns out gravity is a little uneven across the planet. This unevenness is due to the fact that the Earth isn't a perfect sphere. It's more like a slightly squished ball, and the stuff beneath the surface isn't distributed evenly either. The Earth's crust has different densities and compositions, which affect the gravitational pull in various regions. This difference in gravity isn't huge, you can't feel it with your senses. But it's there, and it can be measured. Scientists use super-sensitive instruments to measure these tiny variations in gravity. They've mapped out these differences across the globe. And guess what they found? Some of the most interesting anomalies are in Canada. Specifically, the Hudson Bay area has some of the lowest gravity on Earth. It's a fascinating discovery that shows just how unique our planet really is. So where's this low gravity zone? It's centered around Hudson Bay, a massive inland sea in Canada. Scientists call it the Hudson Bay anomaly. Think of it like this. Imagine Earth as a lumpy, bumpy potato instead of a perfect ball. The parts with more potato mean more mass and stronger gravity. The parts with less potato? Weaker gravity. Hudson Bay is like a dent in the potato. It's got this low gravity dip and scientists have been scratching their heads about it for decades. So what's going on in Hudson Bay? This region has puzzled scientists for years due to its unusual gravitational anomaly. Scientists have a few theories. They've been studying this phenomenon extensively, trying to understand the underlying causes. One is that it's got to do with massive ice sheets that covered Canada thousands of years ago. These ice sheets were incredibly heavy and exerted a significant amount of pressure on the Earth's crust. Imagine a giant ice cube sitting on your chest, pushing down. The weight of the ice caused the crust to deform and sink. When that ice cube finally melts away, your chest slowly springs back up, right? Similarly, as the ice sheets melted, the Earth's crust began to slowly rebound. That's kind of what's happening with the Earth's crust in Hudson Bay. This process is known as isostatic rebound, and it's still ongoing today. Another theory involves the Earth's mantle, the hot, molten layer beneath the crust. The mantle is dynamic and constantly in motion. Think of it like a lava lamp. Hot stuff rises, cool stuff sinks, creating these slow-moving currents. These currents are known as mantle convection currents. These currents can actually change the shape of the Earth very, very slowly, which can affect gravity. Over time, these subtle changes can lead to noticeable differences in gravitational strength in certain areas. So, Canada's got this weird gravity dip. Who cares, right? Well, it turns out a lot of people do. This anomaly isn't just a quirky fact. It's a window into the Earth's past and a key to understanding our planet's inner workings. By studying these gravity anomalies, scientists can uncover secrets about the Earth's structure, its geological history, and even make educated guesses about its future. Imagine being able to predict natural events or understand the formation of continents. Researchers in the field are constantly gathering data, analyzing rock formations, and using advanced technology to map out these anomalies. It's like piecing together a giant planetary puzzle. Plus, it's just plain cool. The idea that our planet still holds so many mysteries is fascinating. Who doesn't love a good mystery? The gravity dip in Canada is like a real-life treasure hunt for scientists and explorers alike. And who knows, maybe one day we'll figure out exactly why Canada's gravity is so... off. Until then, it remains one of Earth's intriguing enigmas. Until then, I guess we'll just have to keep our feet firmly planted on the ground, just in case. The mystery continues, and so does the adventure.